even before COVID, there was a rise in interest in advertisers, you know, looking to sort of make use of local. What are some of the reasons local suddenly got hot? Advertisers aren't one thing. Advertisers aren't a monolith. There are different advertisers. There are national advertisers and local advertisers. Uh, there are D2C ad, uh, brands and there are other brands, right? So there's a whole host of advertisers in America and local plays a key role for all of them, maybe differently. So there are many brands that are regional to begin with. Mm -hmm. So they may seem national because they're so big, but especially, uh, you know, if you think of large auto dealers or you think of retail, there are a lot of people who have a heavy local and regional presence uh, for whom this is a natural extension, right? And then you have national brands and national brands think of this in a couple of different ways. Yes, it's to optimize in a place where there's potential for higher sales, but also there is a lot of room for creative optimization. So very simply, you may want to sell weed killer somewhere and you may want to sell snowblower somewhere else. So you may, be, you may have a national brand, but the needs can differ. It's, you know, we're a big country. It's not just the 320 million people that everyone talks about. It's physically a vast country with a lot of physical diversity. So if you're a national advertiser, you may want to optimize and optimize creative and optimize messaging and optimize against seasons. Uh, but there are so many brands in this country that heavy up on specific localities. And there are also some brands that are better serving urban populations versus rural populations, right? So local was getting hot, but it's for a host of reasons, not one reason.